Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, big shop upgrade. Bought myself a Challenger lift. It's a 10,000 pound lift, uh, made by Challenger, two post lift. Got it for $1,600 off Facebook Marketplace from a gentleman that installs these for work. So he ended up getting this. He bought it back from the dealership and uh, sold it to me. So I'm very happy with the purchase so far. Right now, cleaning up the base. It had a whole bunch of rust on it. Uh, we live in Wisconsin, so there's a lot of salt on these cars. So I assume that uh, it was near a drain or something. Salt just accumulates over time. So the very bottoms are a bit rusty, but uh, nothing structural. Uh, I've seen bridges with far, far, far more rust. So the rest of the paint is really nice. Uh, it is actually up to date on its inspection. We have a pump. We have all the lines, we have everything. So now all I need to do is figure out how to install this thing. So the plan is, this is both a symmetrical and an asymmetrical lift. Uh, the arms go long enough to do to pick either direction. So my biggest truck is that 2006 F-250 power stroke. With the hitch on it and everything, it's about 25 foot. It's got a long bumper, it's got a long hitch, so. Uh, I don't foresee myself having anything bigger than 25 foot in here that's going to need to go all the way up, maybe just up a little bit for brakes or something like that. So, uh, and like I said, it's both asymmetrical and uh, symmetrical, so I can actually cheat it up more if I need to. Uh, I might be looking at a project that's got a 17 foot bed on it, so uh, I'd like to be able to get that in here. I'd like to be, be able to get my trailers and stuff in here, so... Uh, this is going to be a huge improvement. So the weight distribution on these lifts is about a third of the weight back from the front is where the uh, center of gravity is. So I did 25 divided by 3, got 8.3. So so 25 minus 8.3 is, oh, I don't know, 17-ish or so. So I ended up going 17 and a half feet from the garage door not from the outside so the post is going to be sitting right around this mark here that's the outside of the post and then it's 134 inches outside to outside so i'm cleaning up the bottoms now i'm going to get them stood up and then i'm going to drill one anchor i'm using three quarter inch five and a half anchors on this that's what the spec calls for so i'll get these two posts mounted up and uh we'll see we'll see what it looks like It's clear I'm gonna need some help with this, so I'm gonna leave it like that for the night. Have my dad help me in the morning. Well, we have a dilemma. I was like, man, that thing looks pretty long. So I measured it and uh, sure enough, it's six and a half inches too tall for this ceiling. So like anything here, it's gonna need to be chopped up and modified, which sucks because uh, I don't know if it's gonna work with my plan in my head, but uh, this top point is mounted it's just bolted together so what i'm planning to do is re-drilling this main support here and uh just shifting that whole bit down i'm thinking eight inches just to play it safe but um 138 is our max ceiling height i just i've taken such big tractors in here and reefer trucks and stuff i just totally thought First of all, I thought that it was uh, taller than 138 inches. But second of all, I didn't think this was that tall. I was thinking more around like 10 foot, but um, such is life. So I guess let's get to cutting. I think I figured it out. I ended up moving these two top brackets down. It measures up a lot better now. Uh, so instead of a Challenger lift, I have a Challenger Lil. Uh, Not an ideal situation but whatever. Just got done torquing down both the legs. Uh, you saw the time lapse of me putting it all together. Holy crap. I don't know if you can see the sweat dripping off me, but I, it's only 80 degrees out. It's not that hot. Uh, it just beats the crap out of me. So I'm going to call it a day here. 
come back tomorrow and uh, I need to run the cables. I need to run the hydraulics. I need to run that safety switch right up there. And I need to run my power all the way back there. So still a lot to do. I'll be here in the morning. It's the next day. We're in the shop. It's about six in the morning. Uh, I'm going to start on drilling out the, uh, the holes up there that I use to shorten this thing. So that way I don't get metal all over my cables, all over the grease for the runners. For that toad. And uh, after that, I'll get the electrical going. Yeah, he's a little guy. Uh, I got hangers to hang it up across the ceiling. I got my cord. It's a uh, 10 gauge, two wire with three different wires. You got the two and the ground. Oh, I got to mount the motor. Got to run the cables, got to run the hydraulics. So plenty to do, but looking forward to it. I only got till 11 o'clock. Me and my wife are going to a festival, so I got to hurry. Got all the hardware in for the main structure. So I ended up drilling out those and I ended up putting the top beam brackets and bolts in and everything is tightened completely up. So I can start running hoses and cables now. Um, I could probably mount the motor first, but I just don't want to be knocking into anything and I want plenty of room for my ladder. So I'll throw the two cables up and over and then I'll throw the one hose up and over and then I have that electrical top switch. Let's see, right there. Uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried, saying that I wasn't right, Jared, I was right by your side. You manipulator, playing games, your friends commentators, and I don't know what you say about our private conversations, but it's got them hating things on all the rumors you be claiming. It's cool, I'm done with you, so they can throw you a celebration. You gon' hate it when you see me with somebody living better. I'm trying to tell you that me just do it, me gon' have you jealous. Uh. Got the wiring ran all the way along the ceiling. Looks really nice. Put all the bolts, I oriented them all the same way. Really cleans up the look of it. Got it nice and straight and then ran it along side the building here. And I have my welder outlet right here. So I'm gonna get that plugged in. Uh, I'm gonna make this just a pluggable cord that way it's not plugged in all the time in case something happens. Um, if my truck's left on the lift, I know it's gonna be on there a long time, I'll just unplug it. That'll keep it from burning itself up. So I uh, got this attached. I need to finish finding a screw for the uh, shutoff switch. And then I need to look at the schematic. There's one here, but I have a printout of another one. So I'll get this wired up. But first, I'm gonna go do that plug. See, I ain't even tripping cause I just chose to believe That somebody gon' come around and give me just what I need I don't wanna see you frowning, see you looking down and out Coming to me crying, saying you miss having me around Gave you chances and you blew it, you so easily influenced All the times you told me beat it, now you gotta face the music I'm saying Well, I made a miscalculation. I thought the cylinders drove pulleys and then these were attached to the lifting, uh, the lifting arms. But in reality, the two cylinders are attached to the lifting arms and the cables just facilitate in uh, applying even pressure 
so that it doesn't pick up one way or another. Uh, unfortunately, since I took out eight inches from each side, that means I'm 16 inches short or long, I suppose. I'm 16 inches long on my cables, short on my hoist. So um, I got a Rockford rigging an hour from me. They can uh, crimp these pieces on. So I'm gonna get a price on that to see if I wanna have them do it the right way or I could do it the wrong way for about 20 bucks. And uh, this cable can be folded up, made into an eyelet. And then I can put an eye bolt, shouldered eye bolt right here. Um, it's a perfectly legal pick. However, it's kind of ugly. You got to put um, cable clamps on it and the cable clamps can distort the cable. Um, however, I know that those are not actually uh, lifting points. So if those cables fail, the, the lift is still going to work fine. Or I shouldn't say it's going to work fine. If the cables fail, the lift will not fall. How about that? Uh, the cylinders will still hold the pressure as well as the uh, lock, locking arms right here. And everything else is working great. Um, it's really just that that damn cable's too long. So um, I'll have to think about it the rest of the weekend. But it's getting to be 1030. So if I leave now, I'll get there at 1115. So I'm I'm probably going to end up being late because i got to take stuff to the dump. So that's it. Uh, I'll show you what I end up doing. It's another day. Uh, I just made it down to Rockford. Got my cables made up. Only cost me 65 bucks. So uh, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, pricing is pretty darn good because new cables is about 200 bucks. So on my way to the shop now, I'm going to get those installed and we'll test this lift out. Got our Ford Transit up in the air. Uh, still about a good foot or so from the ceiling. Only about six inches or so from my door. I could close the door, but I don't think I'm gonna hit it. Uh, I clearly need to do some research on pick points. So ended up going with picking on a uh, shackle and part of the frame, but you know, this is where it says to pick in the manual and as you can see that's disgustingly rusty so uh with this lift here though we're going to be able to cut this out do a lot of work to this machine did my first repair i got this heat shield secured back up with some giant fender washers but all in all it's it went up smooth it's a good lift uh, I already got work scheduled for it. I have somebody that wants a transmission out of a 1979 F-150. So we're going to be pulling that C6 out of there here this week. And uh, we're going to be making some money with this thing. So I'm hoping in just a matter of a month it'll pay itself off. So I appreciate you watching. If you made it this point of the video, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Leave me, leave me a message. But uh I appreciate watching this video. I'm at about 300 some subscribers right now, which is in my eyes, just doing awesome. Uh, really happy with how the channel is coming together. So uh, more Ford content coming, more modifications to the Bronco coming, new project coming, and that high boy. I am working on the high boy. So lots of new stuff coming. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.